Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. A lot of times people ask me these questions. Abhishek, I have been learning DevOps in cloud, but I don't feel confident giving the interviews. Some people say, Abhishek, we have been learning it for a while, but during interviews, we fail to answer scenario based questions. We fail to explain the interviewers the real time tasks that we have worked on. Now the answer to these questions is common. This is due to lack of practical hands-on experience. Now, if you're also running into the same challenge, I have got something very, very exciting in this video. Just make sure you watch it till the end. So I'll get straight to the point. You cannot master DevOps if you only focus on the theory part. Along with that, you have to focus on practicing things and practice them on real time systems. That is exactly what I try to do on this channel as well. Whenever I pick up a tutorial, I first explain the theory part, then I try to build a real time system and demonstrate the project through that. The reason is simple. DevOps is huge. You have a lot of tools to learn, a lot of concepts to focus on. If you don't practice them, as you move to the next one, you tend to forget the one that you have learned. Now, of course, I don't mean to say people are not interested in practical learning. I have personally seen a lot of people show interest in starting the journey. But as they start their practical journey, they run into two major challenges. Number one, lack of practical roadmap. What should they practice today? What should they practice the next day? What is the order should they follow? Number two is lack of infrastructure or the cost and maintenance behind setting up a real-time system. Don't worry. You can address both of these challenges by just following the simple steps. I'm sure you are already following the videos on the channel. All that you need to do is to subscribe to 100 Days of DevOps by CodeCloud. So CodeCloud has come up with a very unique thing. So they have started something called 100 Days of DevOps where every day, you get a micro task. So again, you just have to subscribe to their code cloud internet platform and subscribe to this challenge. I'll show you the steps. Once you subscribe, you get daily micro tasks, no lectures, just hands on task a day through which you can build your portfolio. You just have to spend 30 minutes a day, complete the task. And every day you feel like you have learned something. You can also share this on your public platforms. All of these are real-time tasks and you implement them on real-time systems. End of the day, you also get a verified batch. Now, let me show you how you can subscribe to this challenge through their code cloud in their platform. So just use the link in the description or pinned comment and start your 100 days of DevOps. Of course, you have to sign up with code cloud in if you don't have an account with the platform. And honestly, this is a very good platform. I feel it is underrated because you can learn DevOps through real-time tasks on real-time systems through CodeCloud Internet platform. I have already done a video on it. If you're interested, you can check that video on the channel. Anyways, just click on curriculum. Coming back to 100 days of DevOps. Click on curriculum. You will find 100 days of DevOps. You have to add this to practice uh, because I'm already working on it. I just started exploring it. So I have already added it to practice. Once you add it to practice, click on the down arrow and you will find all the 100 exercises. If you are a free user, you can do one exercise per day. So every day you can spend some 30 minutes, you can spend one hour, understand the concept, use the lab and learn them. But if you are a pro or AI user, you can also do multiple exercises per day. So how can you start this? Just click on the start button and a lab is provisioned automatically for you. Now the best part here is that the first task, as we can see, I mean, just before I click the start button, the first task says create a Linux user. But what this platform does, instead of directly providing you with the task, it first gives you a scenario. So it gives you a feel 
as if you are working as a system administrator or as if you are working as a devops engineer a scenario is created for you and you have to implement the task according to the scenario something like this to accommodate the backup agent tool specification the system administration team at x fusion corp requires the creation of a user with non interactive shell so this is the scenario this is what usually people ask in interviews right they ask an interview and they they ask a scenario and they ask you to explain the task that you have worked on now the task is create a user named rose with non interactive shell on app server 3 perfect so this question has three parts fun is first i have to log into app server 3 then i have to create a user but with non interactive shell if you have followed my linux playlist i'm sure you know how to do this because we learned about ssh we learned about user add command and we learned how to implement it let's try to do the same thing here in practical first we have to get the details of app server 3 i'll click on details of all users and servers this is where all the servers information is provided so it is app server 3 this one here username is the banner right now we are on gemfost so i'll use ssh banner at the rate host name great yes yes to rsa keys and uh, password is this perfect so now i am with the banner user and app server 3 now i have to create a user called rose but to create a user user add followed by hyphen s because i have to go with non interactive shell hyphen s how do we do this slash s bin where we have the system binaries and i have to go with no login followed by the rows once again when we learned about uh, linux on the channel on the linux playlist we learned what is s bin we learned what are the different commands the default libraries that are put in s bin so we are using one of them and trying to create a user user add hyphen s slash s bin no login rows just like we expected it says permission denied because in real time your user will not have permissions to create another user it's a root level activity but as a devops engineer you will be granted with sudo access so sudo followed by user add the same command okay it says are you sure you want to go with root yeah i know the task that i am using right i know the task that i am working on so i'll use the password and i will enter now the user is created right now let's verify the user creation so once the user is created you know it's in slash etc paws wd file so i'll just do sudo one more time sudo grep followed by username you know i'm just trying to grep all the users name slash etc slash paws wd now instead of this a specific pattern i can just go with what was the username rose perfect so it says rose user is created so i'll just click on check and complete my task perfect so the check is finished and this particular lab is complete now next day i mean tomorrow i can come back to the platform i can spend another 30 minutes and i can explore this particular task i mean the next exercise once we are done we can just close the lab perfect i also try to go through other exercises one thing that i really like here is the order of curation if you looked at the devops roadmap on our channel i keep saying you should always start with linux so you know even these exercises start with linux then they have some linux troubleshooting linux networking related exercises how do you install and configure web servers 
databases on Linux. And then they moved to Git, which is again something that we learned on our channel as well through the roadmap. The order that you have to follow is start with Linux, then go with Git. So they also have a bunch of exercises on Git. How do you fork a repository? How do you create branches? How do you merge branches? How do you revert some changes, cherry picking? Something that DevOps engineers do on day to day basis. They also have exercises on Docker, right? Some of the common Docker related issues that DevOps engineer runs into pull Docker image. You know, you can go through this exercise. You can practice it. If you run into any issues, you will learn how to resolve it. Again, every time you do an exercise, a virtual machine is provisioned for you. If you want, you can also revise. For example, I'm done with this, but I can also revise it any point of time. I can just go back, click on the revise button. They also have exercises on complex ones. For example, deploy Redis deployment on Kubernetes, right? Which is something which takes maybe 30 minutes of time for a beginner because you have to figure out the Redis deployment. How do you use kubectl? How do you deploy it? Or deploy MySQL, again, something that is, you know, done by DevOps engineers on a day-to-day -day basis. Apart from that, they also have Jenkins, regular Jenkins activities by DevOps engineers, and finally, AWS as well. You can see here on day 98, launch EC2 in private VPC subnet using Terraform. You can also explain this during your interviews. Like, you know, when interviewer asks you, what have you done? So you can talk about it. I have launched EC2 instance in private VPC using Terraform. How have you done it? What challenges have you faced? Once you complete day 98, I'm pretty sure you will have a lot to talk about in the interview. So that is why practical learning is important. Once again, spend time every day learning concepts theoretically. Along with that, also practice the concepts, both theory as well as practical. If you're already watching videos on the channel, that's great. We have a very good curated roadmap. You can keep watching the videos on the channel. But every day, just try to spend 15 minutes to 30 minutes on this platform because right now they are offering free 100 days of DevOps. Also, CodeCloud Insta is a very good platform. You have a lot of free resources on the platform as well. So subscribe to it and start using the platform. So that is all I have for today's video. If you have any questions related to this, do let me know in the comment section. I will share all the useful links for today's video in the description as well as pinned comment. See you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye everyone.